live, but you can come in. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Okay. Hey. What's good? going on this full moon in Sagittarius is what I'm feeling coming up I feel like that is why I'm also pretty drained because Sagittarius is my north node so um, there's about to be something hot and fiery going on in the collective if you don't already feel it the drain that is happening before the takeoff uh, that's what you could be feeling right now. If you've been feeling drained, if you've been feeling like you just need to rest, if you've been feeling like you need a few more minutes of sleep, if you've been feeling like, you know, you're doing a little bit here and then you resting or whatever you're doing. This uh, full moon that's coming up in Sagittarius is set to be hot and fiery. Okay, I'm going to read you a little something here before we get started with the reading for each individual sign. We're going to see what's coming in for each individual sign for this full moon in Sagittarius. May 23rd is when this is happening. I'm already feeling the effects of the full moon because it's a moon, period. But also because my north node is Sagittarius. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart... Find out where it's at and how it's going to be affecting you in this full moon, okay? Remember that it can definitely affect your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. And like I said, north node is, my Sagittarius is in north node. So there could be some really good things coming in towards you uh, for this um Full moon in Sagittarius, May 23rd, like I said, is when that is set to happen. Grand rising, grand rising. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I hope you all are well. I am regaining my strength. Um, been resting my butt off, okay? Allowing myself to go in and out of sleep as my body needs to. Um... For someone like me uh, that's an empath that feels others' energy, going through an airport is a challenge, <laughs> okay? Uh, all of the energy, all of the um, energies, and then sitting in that in an airplane with all of those people um, and the energies of the children and the adults and of the staff and of the plane itself, okay? Um, being one with all of that, uh, there was a lot of turbulence coming back into Baltimore as well. So if you know, you know, if you don't, then I don't know what to tell you, but I'm an empath and I feel everything. Um, and so it can be very draining. And especially since I've been in hermit mode for four years, okay? I've been in hermit mode for four years. So getting back out there and getting into um, energies of people that I don't know, energies of different spaces, um... It's challenging, okay? Um, staying with uh, Tamisha and her family, the energy of not being in other people's energy other than me and my son. I don't know how to explain the um, energy that you take on from other people. 
going shopping. <laughs> uh, it's all energy that you're taking in. And so now I am decompressing. When I say that I'm debriefing myself, I really am. Um, I know what my body is telling me I need and then I give it to, cause that's a lot for me, okay? It's a lot. Um, so I'm, you know, trying to get used to uh, being back out there and um, understanding when I need to cleanse my energy as well. So, um, I am definitely coming down off of that, getting back into a routine of exercise, eating better, um, drinking better, okay? So, yeah. If you're an empath and you understand me, you understand me. Um, especially if you're one who feels deeply uh, the energies of people when they don't even think that you can or no and for you to have to keep their secret a secret sometimes because some people don't want you to uh, understand certain things about them even just by a touch a look in the eye um, I understand on a deeper level than most okay um, with children with adults with teenagers um, yeah. Okay. Happy Friday to you as well. I don't think anybody would ever under really stand um, unless you are, if unless you understand. Okay. Let's get them likes up, y'all, so we can get this reading on. We're supposed to be getting the 20,000 likes, y'all slack a lacking. Let's get to tap a lapping. Okay. All right. So, so Brooklyn, are you telling me that you're just going to pick the first thing that comes around just because you're tired of being single? I mean, I did see your question. I mean, your statement the first time. I'm not blind. Uh, I don't know why people feel like you have to spam a certain thing. If I'm going to answer it, I'm going to answer it. Uh, if not, then I'm not. Okay. Hey, Steph. We're going to see what's coming in for each individual sign for this full moon in Sagittarius. So if you know a Sagittarius friend or if you are a Sagittarius, make sure you share this and put this on the FYP for me now. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I'm all right. I'm still trying to gain some more of my strength. I'm going to probably be taking a nap after this. Okay. Um, I do have some clients who I do need to send uh, crystals to. Thank you all for your orders in my store for your crystals. If you do find that I don't have a crystal in my store that you would like... Make sure that you email me at theawakenedempress33 at gmail.com and let me know. And I'll make sure to add it to the store. Uh, the lady that I get them from are, is um, local, but um, she I order them and I usually get them the next day or the day after uh, from her. And they're, they come with a certificate of authentication. Okay. So make sure that if you would like some uh, crystals, ooh, that was a lot, you um, check that out in my store, okay? Okay. All right, so Sag North, know me too now, Clarissa. Remember my readings can go for your sun, moon, rising. 
Venus and North Node. The reading will begin at 20,000 likes, y'all. All right. I hope that you guys are having a good Friday. I was going to do a, re a weekend reading, but I think I'll do that over on uh, IG. So if you don't follow me on the Awakened Empress um, 33 on IG, what the fuck are you waiting for? Make sure that y'all get on over there and follow me. It's the underscore awakened underscore empress three three, okay? Good morning. Good morning. All right. We're gonna I'll go over there and give y'all what's coming for the weekend. But uh right now we're gonna dip into this full moon in Sagittarius. We're gonna start with Taurus. Because it's Taurus season still for a little while longer. The, uh, so I hope that you Tauruses are enjoying your season. Yesterday would have been my mother's birthday. And I felt it heavy, okay? I felt her around me uh, heavy. Uh, there were no tears. There were smiles. Okay? Uh, memories. Good memories, okay? Tell me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Taurus, for this full moon in Sagittarius, May 23rd. What does, what does Taurus need to see for this full moon in Sagittarius, May 23rd? Bottom of the deck is beautiful change. So, Taurus, you're going through some type of a transformation here. Blue could be significant for you. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Taurus. For this full moon in Sagittarius. Taurus, you could also have Sagittarius in your chart. Or you could be dealing with the Sag. Show me what I need to see for Taurus for this full moon in Sagittarius. Full moon in Sagittarius for Taurus. Thank you. We got soul family jumping out there, Taurus. So, Taurus, you could be coming in contact with soul family or people that you feel is very connected deeply to you. We got to face your shadow. So you could be going through a dark night of the soul, Taurus, or um, you could be facing your shadow at this time. We also got rest. So you need some damn rest or something like this here, Taurus. Maybe you're working too much or you're just not getting proper rest. You could be dealing with the Pisces or have it in your chart. Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit, for Taurus for this full moon. Full moon in Sagittarius for Taurus. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands, Taurus. So there could be some type of burden that you're dealing with when it comes to family. You could be laying down some burdens when it comes to family. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. We got the Tower coming out, Taurus. So Scorpio energy here. There could be some type of a Tower moment here, Taurus, for you. Something that uh coming out of nowhere. We got the Ace of Pentacles coming out. Now, it did come out in the reverse. So I don't know if you're going to be losing some type of money, Taurus, or if there is some type of money that's coming in here towards you, okay? There feels like there could be some type of a loss. Ten of swords with the world here in the reverse. There's something about a not ending some type of a cycle when it comes to money. Like maybe there's something about your spending or something like this here, Taurus. I do feel like you do want to change this. And I feel like abruptly it is going to come to a change. There could be something coming in here towards you though, Taurus. That's very fruitful for you after some type of ending. Nine of Swords is on the bottom of the deck, and it could have something to do with family. There could be some money coming from the death of someone in a family, Taurus. I'm just reading the cards. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius, or a Gemini. Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit, for Taurus. What does Taurus need to see? For this full moon in Sagittarius, what is this full moon for Taurus in Sagittarius? What does Taurus need to see? Bottom of the deck is built on solid ground. So there could be a tower moment that's about to crumble something down to the ground, Taurus. 
but I feel like it's so that you will build something on solid ground, especially with this Ten of Swords and the, and the world coming out. This is a new chapter that's happening for you. And it could be the loss of something, but it could also be the gain of something else here for you, Taurus. What else do I need to see for Taurus? We got face your shadow again, Taurus. So this is to be, this is to make you face your shadow. Okay, you got it twice. Face your shadow, face your shadow. So Taurus, this is for you to face your shadow. Whatever this loss is that's coming in for you, because there's something brand new going to come from this. What else for Taurus? Final messages for Taurus. We got to shine your light and laugh at your demons and build on solid ground and do something different and imagine solutions. So Taurus, I feel like you're going to go through a tower moment that's going to make you see something very differently. And it's also going to start something new for you. It's also going to bring in some type of soul family, okay? Moving on to Virgo. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit of Virgo, for this full moon in Sagittarius. Nope, I just started, Yvonne, okay? Uh, with the earth signs, because Taurus, it's still Taurus this season. All right. Show me what I need to see for Virgo, for the full moon in Sagittarius, Virgo. Bottom of the deck is expand your consciousness. So Virgo, you could be expanding your consciousness already. Or a spirit is asking you to do this right now, okay? Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Damn. We got sacred contracts jumping out, Virgo. And also star maiden. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? You could also be dealing with a Pisces. You may need to get some rest. There's something about sacred contracts. We also got chakra healing. So you may need to balance out your chakras, uh, Virgo. You may be in a little bit of an in alignment, unalignment, okay? So get some rest. There's something about a sacred contract that you have with someone. Could be a Pisces, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for Virgo. For this full moon in Sagittarius, what does Virgo need to see? What does Virgo need to see? Bottom of the deck is the devil. Oh, so you're dealing with a Capricorn Virgo or someone who's toxic as fuck. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Virgo. We got the Empress coming out in the reverse. What else do I need to see, please, Spirit, for Virgo? We got the Queen of Swords in the reverse. What else do I need to see? Oh, we got the Page of Swords coming out. Ooh, Virgo. We got the King of Wands in the reverse, the Justice, and the Magician as well in the reverse. Ah! Virgo, you could be dealing with a Libra, okay? Strong, okay, with the Empress in the reverse. Someone definitely is watching you. Like, very, very closely. And I feel like Page of Cups in the reverse, you could have a few people watching you, Virgo, okay? You, there could be someone that you that you cut off or that you're thinking about cutting off here that watches you. Someone who's a liar or who you see as a liar, like you don't see them as an empress. And I feel like this person knows this here, Virgo. You could be dealing with an Aquarius Libra or a Gemini. You also could have an Aries Leo Sagittarius that you could be dealing with when it comes to a court case or something that's imbalanced. This person could be manifesting something against you when it comes to a court case. Could also be dealing with a Libra with the justice here, though. Like, I feel like someone doesn't want you to move forward. And I feel like they're trying to manifest against you. Could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Could also be a Libra, another Virgo, or an Aries. Somebody is definitely in their feelings about a situation. Someone loves you, okay? But I feel like um, it's, in a, it's in a way where it could be toxic, okay? Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit, for Virgo. What does Virgo need to see? Virgo, you have a lot of people in your energy. There's something about balancing out some 
scales though here, okay? You could be dealing with some karmic energy around you big time. Definitely could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius masculine energy and an, an Aquarius Leo Gemini um, feminine energy. Doesn't have to be those signs, but that's what's coming out. Somebody's definitely some type of a liar and I feel like you're seeing this, okay? Show me what I need to see. Somebody's a karmic energy in your life, Virgo. Show me what I need to see. Could be a Virgo, a Taurus, a Libra. What else do I need to see for Virgo? Final messages for the full moon and Sagittarius. We got to say no. So somebody's coming towards you, uh, Virgo, to ask for something or something like this here. And I feel like this person has been manifesting against you. And I feel like you need to say no. And it's going to balance something out. Maybe something that you don't see in the background that's happening. But this is some type of a sacred contract you have with this person. Okay? Like, this is something that you're supposed to go through. Like, you're supposed to learn a lesson or something like this here. Show me what I need to see. We got to go for your dreams. Yeah, don't let nobody stop you. Because I feel like there's people that want to stop you from moving forward. We got to embrace your power. Yeah, you need to because I feel like you have people that want to stop you, okay? We got to count your blessings as well. Bottom of the deck is tune out distractions. You need to, Virgo, because you got people getting ready to try to distract your ass from moving forward. Mm-mm-mm. Moving on to Capricorn. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Capricorn, for this full moon in Sagittarius. You're surrounded, uh, Virgo, by karmic energies, and you need to maneuver your way up out of that shit, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Capricorn, for May 23rd, the full moon in Sagittarius. Capricorn. The bottom of the deck is tell the truth. So, Capricorn, I don't know if there's something that you need to tell the truth about to someone. Or you're going to have to tell your truth. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Capricorn. Full moon and Sagittarius. I just heard you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We got visionary coming out. So, Capricorn, you could have a vision of something. We got new beginnings. And you could be starting something new for yourself. Or there's something that's coming in that's new for you. Capricorn, okay, what else do I need to see? You could be dealing with a fire sign. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Capricorn. For the full moon in Sagittarius. What do I need to see, please, Spirit? Y'all give me to 100,000 likes because this is some juicy shit here, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to see? For the full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is the five of wands. Oh, who are you fighting with Capricorn or who are you in competition with? Show me what I need to see. We got the five of pentacles and it did come out in the reversal Capricorn. You could be coming out of being stuck, okay? We could, you could be using your intuition to do this. Or you could also be dealing with a Pisces, okay? I feel like you do need to use your intuition when it comes to coming out of a situation with someone. We got the world on the bottom of the deck. There is something new coming in towards you, Capricorn. That's why I feel like you need to use your intuition when it comes out. When, when it comes to you coming out of some type of lack or something like this here. Use your intuition. I do feel like you could have someone around you, Capricorn, as well, that you uh, could be kind of uh, smitten with here. You'd be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or another Capricorn. You'd be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpio, a Leo, a, an Aquarius. What else? There's something about using your intuition, though. Yeah, Page of Cups. I do, you could be um, a, have a crush on somebody, Capricorn. Or this is someone who needs to use their intuition on you. But I feel like you have a crush on someone. Or someone has a crush on you. Yeah, we got judgment. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. There could also be something about working with someone. Or wanting to work with someone. Maybe going towards someone with uh, an apology because of how you judge them. Capricorn. Could be a Sagittarius. Could be a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio or a Virgo. A Taurus. Final messages for Capricorn. For this full moon in Sagittarius. Good morning. 
Well, put yourself in the story how it feels, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Capricorn. What does Cap need to see for this full moon in Sagittarius? Bottom of the deck is live life to the fullest. So, yeah, I feel like you need to get out of your head, Capricorn, okay? Yeah, we got to tune out distractions coming out. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo. We got to be decisive and go with the flow. Also, face your adversities. Yeah, Capricorn, I do feel like there could be someone in the background that you have an issue with or that has an issue with you. There could be something about not worrying about what's going on in the background and, and focus on your vision or something like this here. Okay? There could be some adversities or there could definitely be someone that you need to go towards with an apology or feel like you do or vice versa. Moving on to... Aries. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aries for May 23rd, the full moon in Sagittarius. What does Aries need to see? Aries. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aries for the full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is safe space. So, Aries, you could be finding a safe space in someone. Or someone could be finding a safe space in you. Or you found a safe space, okay? Show me what I need to see for Aries for the full moon in Sagittarius. What does Aries need to see? Aries. Bottom of the deck is eternal love. So, maybe you're feeling that you found an eternal love, Aries. Or maybe someone is seeing this in you. Ooh. We got Aphrodite of eternal love falling out and, and protect your energy. So I feel like you may need to protect your energy as you go in towards a, a love, Aries, or they feel this for you. Okay? There's something about protecting your energy when it comes to a love situation, Aries. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aries. Full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is tell the truth. So there could be something about a love situation, Aries, that you need to tell the truth about. We got light your fire coming out and tell the truth. So, Aries, I don't know if you're going towards someone to tell them how they make you feel, okay? Yeah, we got joy. So, yeah, you might be expressing it. And I'm hearing, you knock me off my feet now, baby. So I don't know if someone knocks you off your feet, Aries, or if you're knocking somebody off their feet. Okay, I don't know. That was cute, okay? <laughs> Show me what I need to see, please, for Aries. For this full moon in Sagittarius. That was so sweet. <laughs> Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit. For Aries, for this full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is, yeah, someone knocks you off your feet, Sagittarius, or, um, I'm sorry, it could be a Sagittarius Aries, I don't know, or they could have it in their chart, but I feel like, um, you're going towards someone, like, someone really does light your fire, or you want to light someone's fire, or I don't know, Aries, or they, I don't know, put yourself in the story where it fits, okay, mm-mm-mm. We got the Queen of Swords. Ooh, ooh, so either this could have been someone that you cut off, or they cut you off, or I don't know. We got the Six of Swords. Yeah, you want to move to Kama Waters with this person. Whoever this is, Aries, you can't get them off your mind or vice versa. Yeah, Nine of Swords, what I'm saying. Okay, with the Ace of Wands. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, Aries. I don't know if you know if you're going to be able to get this person to see you the right way or I don't know. But you could be in your head big time about this person or this person's in their head about you. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Or another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody missing somebody. So I don't know if they, you don't think that they're going to accept your offer or vice versa. Put yourself in the story as it fits. But somebody's thinking about somebody and can't get them off their mind. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit. Somebody could be dealing with an STD. Mm -mm -mm. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aries. For the full moon in Sagittarius. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aries for this full moon in Sagittarius. I just heard erectile dysfunction. 
We got to address your addiction. So, Aries, I don't know if your addiction is sex or I don't know. I'm just reading the cards. Uh, or if this someone's addiction is you, Aries. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aries. Mm -mm -mm. We got to laugh at your demons and look forward. Yeah, I feel like it's time for you to leave something behind, Aries. We got to ask with sincerity. So, I don't know if you're going in to ask someone that lights your fire to help light your fire some more or vice versa, Aries. I don't know, but um, mm -mm -mm. Whew. show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Leo. What do I need to see, please, Spirit, for Leo? Telling all my secrets. Mm -mm -mm. What do I need to see, please, Spirit, for Leo? For this full moon in Sagittarius, what do I need to see? Bottom of the deck is no more hiding. So, Leo, you're coming out or there's no more hiding for you. People are going to be seeing you. Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit, for Leo. For this full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is past life healing. So yeah, I feel like you're doing some um, childhood healing or something like this here, Leo. And I feel like your throat chakra is about to open up. There could be something about a Pisces. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Leo for this full moon in Sagittarius. Leo, what does Leo need to see? Thank you. We got two for you, Leo. Bottom of the deck is safe space. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo. Okay. We got um, believe in yourself coming out and also balance. So yeah, Leo, I feel like you're balancing yourself out. And I definitely feel like as you balance yourself out, there's like no more hiding going on with you. Like, you you need to believe in yourself that you can make something happen for you, that you can make something work, okay? But I feel like you are balancing some type of light and dark here. It's masculine and feminine. Again, with the moon, I do feel like you could be dealing with a Pisces. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Leo. For this full moon in Sagittarius, what does Leo need to see? We got the Two of Swords and the Four of Cups. There could be something about... Wanting to make a decision or making a decision to go towards someone here. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Leo. For the full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is the Hermit. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or you could just be spending some time alone, learning some type of a lesson. Like I said, I feel like you're trying to balance yourself out here, okay? You could be, uh, you could have a uh, Leo in your chart, okay? Um, I mean, Virgo in your chart, Leo. I'm hearing confirmation. We got the Three of Pentacles coming out and also the Nine of Pentacles. There's something about coming together, but also working separately with someone. Yeah, we got the King of Swords coming out. I feel like there's something about working together in a group of people that you're making a decision about, okay? And I feel like you're also deciding to work on some things by yourself independently. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius Libra or a Gemini or a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn Leo. There's something coming in here for you, okay? That you've made some type of, yeah, four of pentacles coming out. Something very sturdy. I do feel like there's someone in the background that can't seem to let you go or that you can't let go of. We got the Queen of Wands coming out. There you are, Leo, showing up in your reading. What else for Leo? We got the Nine of Swords. I do feel like there's someone uh, in the background that either you think about or a, a situation that you don't, that you think about, that you can't stop thinking about, <laughs> okay? And it could have something to do with a work situation or coming together to work on something with other people, but realizing that you need to do something on your own, okay? Bottom of the deck is a Six of Cups. Yeah, it could be something from the past, okay? Or someone from the past. Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit. You can be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Pisces. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Leo. What does Leo need to see for this full moon 
in Sagittarius. It, it looks like you're going to be getting a chance or, to talk to someone to try to work something out, Leo. We got to tune out distractions. And that's what I feel like you need to do. Because I feel like um, there's something from the past that you can't seem to let go of. Because you wanted to work on something with someone or something like this here. Okay? But I feel like you need to do it by yourself right now. Something that you need to believe in yourself with, uh, Leo. Oh. We got to be open to love falling out. And face your adversities. Also, seek hidden treasure and imagine solutions. So I do feel like you need to seek some type of hidden treasure with working by yourself. Okay? Because I feel like... You don't need a group of people to show you that something is going to work out for you. Okay? Even if you felt like you did, I don't feel like you do. I feel like you have everything that you need with this Queen of Wands energy that you're in. And even though you may be upset about having to end something, I do feel like it was for your best. Okay? If you're in your head about something ending, I feel like it was for your best. Moving on to Sagittarius. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to see? For this full moon in Sagittarius, what does Sagittarius need to see? Thank you for sharing my live and FYP in that for me, y'all. I appreciate that. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius. For this full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is sweet success. Sagittarius, you got some success coming towards you. You could be dealing with another fire sign, Sagittarius, or they could have it in their chart. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius. We got a wise decision. So, Sagittarius, you making a wise decision or you will be making some type of a wise decision, okay? Bottom of the deck is expand your consciousness. So, I feel like Spirit wants you to go within, do some meditation or something like this. Here, Sagittarius, we got beautiful change back there. So, you're going through a transformation, Sagittarius, and that's probably why Spirit wants you to go within and meditate. We got divine messages and also um, divine masculine. Wow. So Sagittarius, you are either the divine masculine or there's a divine masculine coming towards you, okay? But there's something about you making a wise decision, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius. For the full moon in Sagittarius. What do I need to see for Sag? Bottom of the deck is the strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. So you could have made a wise decision concerning a Leo. Or there's something that you've been strong through, Sag, okay? And I feel like it's about to pay off for you. We got the Eight of Swords coming out. We could be in your head about a situation or a decision. Oh. We got the Star coming out. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. Oh. Hold on for a second, Sag. We got the Empress and the Eight of Wands. We also got the world, the lovers, wow, the ten of wands, and the queen of pentacles. Sagittarius, there's something about a healing message coming in towards you from an empress or someone that you see as an empress. It's, a, it's about a new contract for you. It's about a new contract for you. And it could be love, but it also could be um, some type of contract. It's about you moving or moving some type of space where you're going to be gaining some type of money. You're going to be receiving a message from someone you see as an empress. It's a healing message that's going to get you out of your head. What? You could, you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, an Aquarius, a Gemini. Aquarius strong, a Libra strong. There's some type of a wise decision that you're going to make because of a message that you're getting from someone that you see as an empress. It's going to help move you forward and it's also going to gain you some type of money. You could watch this person online with the Eight of Wands and the world here. Okay. 
It's going to help you get out of your head. It definitely could be a contract that you've been holding on to. But someone's going to give you a message that's going to help you release yourself from this. And it's going to bring you in some type of finances or something like this here. Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to see for this full moon in Sagittarius? There's a lot of abundance coming in towards you, Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is wake-up call. So there could be someone who's giving you a message that does give you a wake-up call, okay? Or there could be some type of a tower moment here. We got to tune out distractions for you, too. So everybody so far is getting... Watch what energy you're allowing into your energy because I do feel like at this point in time, Sagittarius, there's a lot of people who are going to be trying to get into your energy. Don't let people get you into your energy. We got to correct your mistakes, jumping out, and make a plan. Bottom of the deck is face your shadow. So Sagittarius, there could be some reason for you to face your shadow. And it could have to do with um, someone that you're allowing to distract you, okay? You got to find out why you allow this person to distract you or someone or something, okay? But I do feel like there's a healing message that's coming in here towards you from someone that you see as an empress, who is going to help you move forward in a, a contract of some sort. And it could have something to do with work with this Ten of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles here, okay? And the Empress, okay? Moving on to Aquarius. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aquarius for this full moon in Sagittarius. You liking the jazz? Well, thank you now, Hawkins. How are you? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aquarius for this full moon in Sagittarius. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius Aquarius, or you could have this in your chart. Bottom of the deck is Star Maiden, Rest. You could also be dealing with the Pisces, okay? Uh, but you could be working a lot, Aquarius, or doing some overtime. And Spirit is telling you that you need to get in some type of rest, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aquarius for this full moon in Sagittarius. Could be another reason why I'm feeling like I need to get extra rest because Aquarius is my rising. So I, can, I dig that. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius for this full moon in Sag. We got you are a healer coming out. And cosmic knowledge. Also, face your shadow. So, Aquarius, there are some things that you need to look at when it comes to your shadow. I do feel like there is a tower coming towards you uh, that could be a good tower. There's something about your throat chakra, your heart chakra, your crown chakra, and your third eye opening up at this time. Uh, so, I would take advantage of that and make sure that you are tuning into spirit meditation. We got patience on the bottom of the deck. So, you could be trying to rush something, Aquarius, okay? And I feel like Spirit is telling you, you know, just hold on a little while longer. There's something about you being a healer. Uh, make sure that you are using your gifts the way that they are meant to be used. Aquarius, there's something about being on fire. Or you could be dealing with a fire sign. Show me what else I need to see for Aquarius. For this full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is, yeah, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Is the queen of wands, or like I said, you are on fire when it comes to something right now, Aquarius. We got the tower jumping out. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. We also got the knight of cups jumping out in the reverse. Aquarius, there could be someone coming towards you, or you could be going towards someone. Yeah, someone wanting to reconcile, or you wanting to reconcile with someone. But I don't know if you're going to be accepting someone's offer or vice versa, okay? I don't know who I'm talking to, so put yourself with a story how it fits. You be dealing with an Aries, a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Pisces, a Leo, a Sagittarius. But there's a tower moment here, so something's going to happen out of nowhere. Someone wanting to reconcile or something like this here, Aquarius, okay? Or this is you. Um, wanting to reconcile maybe with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio or an Aries Leo Sagittarius. I don't know, but there's something that uh, 
someone could be trying to get in the way of a reconciliation as well. Uh, I was going to say Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aries, um, Aquarius. Show me what the final messages are, please, spirit. There's something about a tower uh, happening here, Aquarius, when it comes to a love situation. This doesn't have to be romantic love, but the Knight of Cups is here and the Three of Cups is in the reverse. It could have something to do with a third party situation. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aquarius for this full moon in Sagittarius. Like I said, this is a hot and fiery one, okay? So um, all kinds of stuff is going to come up during this. That's why that facial shadow keeps coming out because there's something that could be happening, Aquarius, that's going to make you face your shadow, okay? We got make a plan coming out here. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Aquarius. We got embrace your power there. It looks like you're going to have to when it comes to a situation here that's, that could be coming towards you, Aquarius. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius for this full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is correct your mistakes and maybe you're going towards someone to correct a mistake or maybe they're coming towards you. We got reflect on your truth and express your joy and make no judgment. So Aquarius, maybe you're making a judgment on someone or maybe you have and maybe now you want to reconcile with someone or someone wants to reconcile with you. We got to correct your mistakes. So someone made a mistake and someone wants to reconcile with somebody or vice versa. I don't know. I'm just reading the cards. Moving on to Libra. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Libra. I just saw no more hiding, Libra. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or you could have that in your chart. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Libra. For the full moon in Sagittarius. Libra. What does Libra need to see? Bottom of the deck is expand your consciousness. So you can be dealing with an Aquarius, okay, uh, Libra, as well. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Libra, for this full moon in Sagittarius. What does Libra need to see? Thank you. We got new beginnings jumping out, Libra, and sexual wisdom. So I don't know if you're learning a lesson about who you should share yourself with, uh, Libra, or if you already have, and now a new beginning is coming in toward you, you could have been dealing with a fire sign with this lion here, okay? Leo. Energy or just a fire sign. We also got star maiden. So Libra, you may need to get some rest and you could be dealing with the Pisces as well. Okay, but uh, you need to watch that. We also got eternal love back there. So I feel like you learned your lesson when it comes to some type of um, sexual wisdom, like break, maybe breaking generational curses of learning who you should give yourself to and who you shouldn't or something like this here, Libra, okay? Um, but there's some type of a new beginning and it's an eternal love that could be coming in towards you. You have an empress or an emperor coming towards you. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Libra. For this full moon in Sagittarius. Hi. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Libra, for this full, for a full moon in Sag. What does Libra need to see? There's something that about somebody liking your breasts or you liking someone's breasts, Libra. Mm. We got the hangman. You could be dealing with the Pisces, okay? There's something about going through a transformation, okay? We got the seven of swords coming out first, Libra. What else for Libra? We got the two of swords. There's something about making a, de a decision here. We got the king of, uh, I mean, the knight of wands coming out. Something about moving forward, uh, Libra. Yeah, to maybe towards someone. Someone that you see as a queen of pentacles. We got the Hierophant coming out. Someone who you see is blessed. Or this is someone trying to make a plan to come towards you, Libra. Bottom of the deck is the judgment. You may have judged this person. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But this is about the full moon in Sagittarius. So Libra, I don't know if you judge someone, prejudge someone, or someone prejudged you or something like this here, but they're making some type of a sneaky ass plan to come in here towards you or vice versa. You could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus, a Capricorn, an Aries Leo Sagittarius, or an Aquarius Libra Gemini. 
I feel like someone's just coming towards you for their own selfish reasons. So be very careful, Libra, or vice versa. Yeah, there's some type of message also, uh, Libra, that you're going to be getting about a, a, a new position or something like this here at a job or something like this, okay? Somebody in the background could be going through some type of karma. Show me what else I need to see for Libra. For this full moon in Sagittarius, happy Friday. Show me what I need to see for Libra. Bottom of the deck is seek hidden treasures. So Libra, there's some type of treasure that you need to seek. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit. Something that you're not seeing on the surface. We got, damn, tune out distractions. Everybody's getting that. There's some distractions trying to come towards you. That's what this is. Someone who's a Knight of Wands energy, Libra. But they only see you like money, okay? Or this is vice versa. This could be you. I don't know who I'm talking to, so don't get offended. But there's something about tuning out distractions that are trying to come towards you. Because there's something bigger and better for you. Something that's on your path, Libra. And people are just looking at you as money. So don't be falling now. We got to have faith. So have faith that there is someone or new beginnings coming in towards you. We got retreat. So maybe you need to get away. Like I said, you are working too much. We got to focus on success. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck these, um, these little fuck girls and fuck boys that's trying to come towards you now, Libra. Because that's what it feels like. Okay? Mm-mm. Tune that out. It's just that it's summertime and they hot in the pants. Moving on to Gemini. Or Libra, that could be you. I don't know. Put yourself in a story where it fits. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for Gemini, for this full moon in Sagittarius. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for Gemini, for this full moon. In Sagittarius. What do I need to see, please, Spirit, for this full moon? In Sagittarius for Gemini. Mm -mm -mm, Christopher. Bottom of the deck is spiritual uh, transformation. So, Gemini, you're going through some type of a spiritual transformation. What do I need to see for Gemini for this full moon in Sagittarius? Bottom of the deck is believe in yourself. What do I need to see? We got Aphrodite, eternal love. So you are an empress energy, Gemini, regardless of sex. But this also tells me that you have someone coming towards you, Gemini. We got light your fire. Could be a fire sign, okay? Someone who could light your fire or you're seeing them as this. Yeah, inner strength. There could be something that you're going through, Gemini, or that you've been through when it comes to love. Again, you could be dealing with a fire sign because that inner strength reminds me of Leo energy. It doesn't have to be a Leo. Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit, for Gemini for this full moon in Sagittarius. Gemini. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. So you could be in your head about a love, Gemini, or they could be in their head about you. We got the Page of Swords. You could be watching this person or they could be watching you. We got the Four of Wands coming out and the Four of Swords. Someone's watching you heal, Gemini. Somebody's watching you heal. Could be another Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Or you're watching someone heal. You're watching someone have fun and live their life and um, be in a, a moment. Someone building something here, Gemini. Or this is someone watching you. You could be dealing with another Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. Gemini. There could be something about you wanting to heal a home or someone wanting to heal a home with you as well. Gemini energy with the lovers jumping out. Yeah, Six of Swords. The Empress. Wow. The Empress, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Wands. Gemini, there could be someone at a distance that you're paying attention to that maybe you would like to uh, talk to. Or this is vice versa. Someone that you see as the empress, I feel like you missed this person or you feel like you missed out on a chance with this person. This person definitely could be in at a distance or this could be vice versa. Put yourself in the story as it fits. 
There's something about wanting to move to calmer waters with someone. Gemini, either this is you or this is someone who watches you. Final messages for Gemini for this full moon in Sagittarius. What's this full moon in Sagittarius for Gemini? Bottom of the deck is express your joy. So maybe you haven't expressed your joy about something that you're doing or that you want to do. We got to do something different. What else do I need to see for Gemini? Gemini, I also feel like you may feel like you missed out on some type of a chance when it comes to something you want to do. But I don't feel like that's true. We got to trust the divine plan. And nurture yourself first. Also raise your vibration. I do feel like you are trying to raise your vibration, Gemini. We got to shine your light on the bottom of the deck. But I also feel like there could be something about missing someone or missing an area. You got 444 four, four here. See, there's something about your stability here or about where you are or you could have moved recently. Okay? I have a sense of longing for something, Gemini. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, Gemini, but I do. I feel this longing in you or something like this. Moving on. It could be in love. It could be in anything. Moving on to Scorpio. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Scorpio. For this full moon in Sagittarius, good morning. Scorpio. Cancer and Pisces. That's it. Show me what I need to see, creature, for Scorpio. For the full moon in Sagittarius. Scorpio. Bottom of the deck is chakra healing. So you could be aligning yourself here, uh, Scorpio. You could be aligning your chakras or you're aligning with something. Some type of healing is going on with you. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio for this full moon in Sagittarius. We got, yeah, beautiful change. Scorpio, you're going through some type of a transformation. Chakra healing is back on the bottom of the deck, so you are aligning to something, Scorpio. You're going through some type of a metamorphosis or some type of change or transformation. Okay, it may not feel good all the time, but I do feel like you're working on yourself. Show me what I need to see, please, for Scorpio for this full moon in Sagittarius. Scorpio, full moon in Sag. Scorpio. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. So there, it could be something about your religious beliefs that you're changing. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You don't have to be. What else do I need to see, please, Spirit, for Scorpio, for this full moon in Sag? Let's see. We got the world coming out. Yeah, you're going through some type of a change, Scorpio. We got the Ace of Wands and the Page of Swords. There could be some type of a new venture that you're doing, or you could be learning online, learning some school online, or going back to school online, or starting a new business venture online, Scorpio. You're learning something, or you may be trying to learn something while you go, okay? I do feel like you're watching someone else do something new, online as well and getting ideas that way we got the king of pentacles somebody's going to bring you in some really good uh money here scorpio something that you're doing we got the page of pentacles also the uh knight of swords wow you got a lot of people in your energy and the queen of wands There's something about going to someone coming towards you for an apology or you're going towards someone with an apology and some type of talk. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be walking away from a situation as well. I feel like you could have someone who um, that you're around that tries to act like they're all of that, Scorpio, but... Um, I really don't feel like they are, okay? And there could be some type of a message coming in towards you from a father figure, a baby's father, or whatever, um, apologizing to you for something, okay? But there's something that's coming in towards you This um, as you walk away. There could also be something about a car situation, Scorpio. 
something's something is is about to balance out. I do feel like you're going to be seeing something or someone in a different perspective. Or someone is seeing you from a different perspective. Scorpio, I feel like somebody is actually going to do something and you're going to leave them in the dust. And they're going to like owe you some type of an apology. Like, I feel like you're changing. And I feel like um, someone around you is still a page. Like, someone is still... Uh, trying to grow up or something like this here. And I feel like someone is going to say something to you, Scorpio. And you're going to be out of there. Like, you're really going to see this person in a different light. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit for Scorpio. For the full moon in Sagittarius. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit for Scorpio. For this full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is live your soul, not a role. And I feel like that's what you're going to do with this world, this ace of wands, and this page of swords. I feel like you're going towards something that you really want, Scorpio. And you're not playing some type of role for someone anymore. Like, somebody is going to do or say something, Scorpio, that I feel like is really going to make you take a look at this person. You're going to be out of there. Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit, for Scorpio. What's that? We got to admit your vulnerabilities. Yeah, and I feel like that's what this is with this page of pentacles and the knight of swords. I feel like you're going to go towards someone and tell them that you're, you're sorry for something. Or they're going to be telling you this, Scorpio. Show me what I need. To, but I feel like it's you going towards someone. We got to reflect on your truth. And be true to yourself. And I feel like that's what you're going to do. Because I feel like somebody's going to say something, Scorpio. We got to imagine solutions coming out. I do. I feel like somebody's going to say something, Scorpio, to really, like, make you look at somebody uh, uh, in a different light. Moving on to Cancer. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Cancer. Happening right now. Wow, Clarissa. You're welcome. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Cancer for the full moon in Sagittarius. What do I need to see for Cancer for the full moon in Sagittarius? Bottom of the deck is Chakra Healing. Sagitt you could, uh, Cancer, you could be, I was going to say Sagittarius, but Cancer, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Cancer, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Because they had this, okay? Show me what else, or you could have it in your chart. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Cancer. For the full moon and Sag, what does Cancer need to see? Full moon. We got light to fire. So you could also be dealing with an Aries, okay, Cancer? Bottom of the deck is uh, intuitive awakening. You could be dealing with the Pisces as well, Cancer. You could have this in your chart. I do feel like your throat chakra could have been blocked when it comes to a situation, but I feel like soon that's going to become undone. We got stand your ground. Yeah, you're going to have to speak up for yourself or something like this here, Cancer, when it comes to something, all right? Uh, you could be in a very emotional time, maybe within Aries. Uh, or there could be an emotional conversation getting ready to happen with an Aries, and you're going to need to stand your ground, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Cancer. For May 23rd, the full moon in Sagittarius. What does Cancer need to see? Thank you so much for the gifts, y'all. You're welcome for Scorpio. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Cancer. May 23rd, the full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands. So there's some type of victory coming in here towards you, Cancer. We got the Hangman coming out. So you could be looking at someone from a different perspective or something. We got the Seven of Cups coming out. You could be looking at multiple things from a different perspective or have to. Okay? Just maybe trying to decide which way you want to go. We got the Tower coming out. So you definitely could be dealing with the Scorpio or have that in your chart. There's definitely something coming in here for you, Cancer. We got the Knight of Pentacles flipping out and the Sun in the reverse. I feel like there's something that's going slowly for you, Cancer. But there's also something that's going to come in that you don't see coming with the Sun in the reverse. We got the Devil on the bottom of the deck in the reverse. There's something about healing some type of toxicity around you that's going slowly. 
some type of toxicity, could be with family, could be with friends, could be with a job. There's some type of a change that you don't see coming in all of a sudden, Cancer. And I feel like you're having to look at something from a different perspective. It could be multiple things that's coming in towards you right now, Cancer, that you're having to look at in a, a different perspective. And it could be about work. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. There's something coming in here towards you. Some way of making your money that's not... Um, that doesn't have a commitment attached to it. That you'll be able to do multiple things. But I feel like you need to look at something from a different perspective of how to do it. You definitely, this is something that's coming in towards you all of a sudden, Cancer. I really feel like you don't see this coming. And there could be some type of a raise that's coming towards you as well. If you're making money in a certain way, I feel like there's about to be multiple options coming out of nowhere for you. Final messages for Cancer for the full moon in Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, a Scorpio, a Pisces. I also feel like there's some type of a change that you don't see coming, Cancer. Something that's going to light your fire. Show me what I need to see for Cancer for... The full moon in Sagittarius. Is it something about surrendering to something? We got to tune out distractions. And I feel like that is exactly what I, you're being made to do. Like you're being made to see something as in a different perspective. Uh, something that you may see as chaos is not. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Cancer. For the full moon in Sagittarius. The bottom of the deck is face your shadow. Maybe you're being made to do that as well. Okay. What else for Cancer? We got be true to yourself jumping out, Cancer. And also grieve your losses. So there could be some type of a loss that you are not dealing with. We got to make no judgments. You could be judging someone. Maybe that's why you need to see something. Yeah, engage higher reason. And that's why I said i feel like you're being made to sit and look at something from a higher perspective okay maybe you're um looking at something in an illusionary state cancer and you shouldn't be okay you need to be true to yourself when it comes to a situation and not judge something or someone for something but i feel like there's some type of a change coming in here uh, that you don't see coming with the sun and the re like something is hidden from you cancer you need to look at the higher reasoning for something that's happening in your life. We got to accept what is dying. So I feel like you're not seeing something the way that you need to cancer. I feel like you're looking at something in an, as an, in an illusion or something like this here. But there's a tower coming to shake you loose from that. Or there was a tower that already came. Moving on to last but not least, Pisces. Show me what I need to see for Pisces. Show me what I oh. show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Pisces for the full moon in Sagittarius. Show me what I need to see for Pisces for the full moon in Sag. What does Pisces need to see? Full moon in Sagittarius, Pisces. What they doing to my music now? Bottom of the deck is new beginnings. Pisces, you got some new beginnings coming in here towards you. Show me what I need to see for Pisces for the full moon in Sagittarius. We got past life healing. Pisces, energy with all those moons back there. So Pisces, you could be healing past life energy, trauma from the past, childhood, anytime, okay? We also got believe in yourself. So Pisces, you need to believe in yourself when it comes to the situations that you're healing at this time. Your throat chakra could be activated. Her throat chakra is highlighted here, okay? 
at this time. Uh, and it could have been closed at some point in time, but I feel like you're going through some type of intuitive awakening. And so your throat chakra is being healed and you are at being activated at this time. So you need to believe in yourself. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for Pisces. For the full moon in Sagittarius. Well, thank you now, Gator. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for Pisces. For the full moon in Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. Oh, Pisces, you got a love offer coming in here towards you. We got the Nine of Swords coming out, Pisces, with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Pisces, there's someone in the background going through some type of karma. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, an Aquarius, or a Scorpio, or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody's in their head. Yeah, they coming in here to tell you that they sorry now, Pisces. Because the wheels are turning. The wheels have turned on this person. Yeah, oh, Pisces. Somebody is hurt. We got the three of swords coming out here. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, a Leo, a Scorpio. Bottom of the deck is the Empress. Um, somebody feeling some type of way, Pisces. You coming out as an Empress. And somebody's in their feelings in the background, Pisces. Okay, because they going through some type of heartache, heartbreak, or I don't know. But somebody want to come in here and tell you that they sorry or some shit like this here. Okay. Final messages for Pisces. Could be more than one person I'm hear hearing, Pisces. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit for Pisces, for this full moon in Sagittarius. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit for Pisces. Bottom of the deck is do all things in moderation. So, Pisces, make sure that you're doing everything in moderation. Make sure you're not overdoing something. Show me what else I need to see, please, Spirit for Pisces. We got to keep your commitments. So if you've um, told someone that you would do something, make sure that you need to keep your commitments, Pisces, at this time. Bottom of the deck is imagine solutions. What else for Pisces? We got to trust the divine plan and make a plan. So Pisces, there's something that you could be planning that you really need to make a plan for. Because I feel like it's going to work out for you. Yeah, we got to go with the flow. And raise your vibration. Also, make a plan and look forward. So, Pisces, no looking backwards. I don't know who this is coming in towards you, but and that's in their feelings. Uh, but they clearly in their feelings with this nine of swords and this three of swords. Um, I would be careful because they coming in as a page, Pisces. And the wheel has uh, turned on this person. And I feel like that's the only reason why they coming back in here heartbroken. Uh, there's some type of healing that you need to do. I would forgive this person if they're asking for forgiveness, but I wouldn't let this person back in, Pisces. All right, you all. So that is what's coming for the um, full moon in Sagittarius. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed the reading. I will probably, I will check to see if anyone wanted to buy a reading from me. But, um, I will probably be taking a little bit of a break and then I'm going to go over and um, on the Awakened Empress 3-3 on IG. Make sure you follow me. The link is in the bio uh, in my link tree. Also, make sure that y'all check out my link tree um, because there's uh, things that are attached there that you'll be able to see that I'm updating it often. Make sure that you guys check in on it. Um, of some of the events that I have coming up, of some of the merchandise that I will be having on sale. I do want to let those of you know who ordered something from me uh, while I was gone to Orlando, I will be sending your stuff out tomorrow. I'm just waiting for a few more things to get in, and I will be sending your stuff out uh, tomorrow. Um, yeah, and if you would like a reading from me, the link is in the bio. Uh, if you would like a personal reading from me this week, you better get it in because it's getting full. The weekend is already full, um, pretty much, but I can squeeze you in if you would like a weekend, a weekend reading. 
Remember my weekend reading specials are advertised. You guys just have to go into my shop to see them, okay? Um, but I did put some new stuff on my link tree. Let me see, let me see if I can show you real quick. I did move stuff around so that you guys could see. I even put my um, Amazon, my wish list. A few people had asked me about cards or things that I would like, um, things that, you know, um, and I do have my Amazon wish list on there, okay? Um, I have my Amazon wish list on there. Um, I also have the pop-up for Houston on there, the pop-up for San, uh, San Antonio on there. You can go right in there. I am accepting new coaching clients at this time, you all. Um, I will be uh, starting to uh, put schedules up for the new clients in June, the first week of June. Um, I also have the interview on my link tree where I was uh, interviewed by a magazine here in Baltimore. Is on my link tree as well. My Instagram is there. It's on the bottom there, you guys. Um, and so is my cash app. All right. So if you guys, um, so is my PayPal, but I don't know if they're actually allowing you guys to um, purchase on there or just send the money. I usually have to send you an invoice. Oh, and my fan base is on there. I'm gonna start growing my fan base since they're talking about getting rid of TikTok. I'm trying to grow my fan base. Um, so you guys may wanna check that out as well. Um, starting to put the videos from over here, over there, but I can go live on there right away. So I'll be going live over there sometimes. Um, you guys will be able to find my um, classes, also a link to my classes that I'm going to have coming up soon on here. Also, you'll be able to find the link to the spiritual retreat that I'm uh, bringing together soon. So um, make sure that you guys visit my link tree as often and subscribe to it. That way, every time I change something or something new is happening, you'll be aware of what is hap happening, what events and what cities I'm going to be in, um, things of that nature, okay? I want to um, give a special shout out to those of you who donate to my channel. Um, who are buying my merchandise, who get the, um, the specials and the readings and the coaching sessions. I want to thank y'all um, for donating to my channel, um, keeping my channel going, keeping my channel growing um, so that I can continue to help you all grow as I grow, okay? I appreciate it uh, more than you know. Um, I do have another giveaway that I'm going to be doing. I will be sending out your cards, uh, Jay and Kathleen. I still need to get a mailing address, P.O. box, whatever, from you so that I can mail you your cards. Um, we'll be having another giveaway at the end of June, you guys. So make sure that you guys are participating in different things that we got going on uh, in the live chats. Make sure you're checking out the link tree so that you can know what I have going on. Um, yeah. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for coming out, coming on. I'm gonna check one time to make sure no one sent for a reading and then um, I'm gonna go, y'all. Okay. You're welcome. You're very welcome, y'all. I hope that y'all um, have a good rest of your day. I'm going to try to get some more rest. I still got some clients I got to take care of today, but I'm going to try to get some more rest. Um, 
Anissa, I just finished packaging up your crystals and they come with a, a certification of authenticity. So I'm done wrapping your stuff up. You're, I'm waiting for one more from her shop and then I will be sending your stuff out. And like I said, anybody that I owe from um, before when I went on uh, my little adventure in Orlando, I will be sending your stuff out tomorrow. Um, just waiting for one more thing to come in and then I'm going to take everything up to the post office. All right. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. I'll talk to you all soon. I love y'all. Bye.